Podia review. Hi guys, in this video we're going to be reviewing Podia and we're going to be telling you all its features and highlight mainly email features in this video. So let's get into it. Now, what makes Podia different? Well, if you don't know, Podia lets you run your entire business, including your website, your blog, your email, your products that you sell online, your courses, your digital products, your community, webinars, affiliates, all of that in one place. You don't need different websites, different tools, which can be, you know, sometimes complicated and expensive as well. All you need is Podia where everything is connected. And if you're wondering about the pricing, well, this is the pricing plan. So there are four pricing plans, the free, the starter, the mover, and the shaker. And as you can see, it starts at $9 per month, moves up to $39 per month, and then finally at $89 per month. And this is set to monthly, so you don't have to worry about that. If you go with yearly, it does save you like 50%. So that is a good point. So keep that in mind. And down below, you can see all of the products, all of the features. So you get in the free one, you get full website, community, one download, one coaching product, drafting courses, drafting webinars, and optional email add-ons and optional team add-ons and there is a 10% fee of transaction whereas in the starter you get all of those but you also get a lower fee and you get a custom domain and chart support if you go with the mover your transaction fee is 5% and you get unlimited downloads unlimited coaching unlimited courses unlimited everything you get chat support and third-party code as well and over here in this shaker you have no transaction fee everything is unlimited and you also get the affiliates as well so keep that in mind so now that you know a little bit about podio what it does it's you know its features and its pricing now let's go ahead and sign up now the sign up process is very simple you all you need is your name your email and your password and that is it now, when you first sign up onto Podia, this is how it is going to look like. It's going to ask you, where would you like to begin? Building your online course, your website, your digital downloads, and your community. Now, you can skip this step for now, and you can build it later, so it depends on you. Now, when you first come over here onto Podia, when you first sign up, this is how you are greeted with. It's going to ask you, where would you like to begin? Would you like to build an online course, your website, digital product, or a community? You can just simply skip this step for now and move on. And this is going to be your dashboard. Over here, you can see all of your to get started with. You can have your settings, review payments, create a product, and all of that. Now, what we're interested in is the email features. Now, keep in mind that all the plans include emails. They include unlimited emails, unlimited automated campaigns, templates, segmentations, uh, email scheduling support, all of that good stuff. So keep that in mind. So let's go ahead and get started with. So over here, we can see if you click on emails, you have broadcasts and campaigns. You want to click on campaigns to get started with and creating an email campaign, right? And you will have a bunch of different options to do that. So when you first come over here, you will have following regulations, uh, right? I accept to receive marketing emails, mailing address, all of that. Uh, you can opt in for that if you want to, but it depends on you. And of course, to begin sending emails with Podia, uh, they need to confirm your mailing address in order to do that. So keep that in mind. So you got to fill out this form and move on. And here we go. So over here, you can see you have your dashboard right here you can send broadcasts over here and start a campaign from over here you also have your audiences over here you can import your audiences and add personnel over here so let's go ahead and start a new campaign you can also set a custom email if you want to but we'll get to that later first let's go ahead and set up a campaign now setting up campaign in podia is very simple and very easy over here as you can see you'll have the campaign name the form the entrance condition exit conditions and all of that right it's very simple and they also give you a bunch of different options as well like templates and designs so down below over here you can design the content of your email so if you click on new email you will see you can go ahead and design your email so you can pick an email from the designer from the template section and you can edit it out and create your own one so these are the pre-made templates and over here you can choose a starting point you can choose a blank template or you can go with a pre-made template and start editing it out it depends on you so let's set up our campaign over here. We're going to give this campaign a name. We'll just call it test for now. And then over here, it's going to be from over here. You can add your name and your email, 
E dot Podia. And then you have the entrance condition. So over here you have zero conditions. You can add conditions over here, join community, sign a product, tag with waitlist product. It depends on you and exit conditions as well. Now, once you've set this up, you can go ahead and start designing and creating your email over here. You can have your emails. You're going to have a delay of three days. You can set it up to one day, two day, three day. You have your subject over here and over here is going to be your preview text. And then down below, you can just simply select one of the designs from the template sections to get started with. And also, I just want to highlight this section over here, the design section. Podia lets you create stunning emails and they let you design it yourself. You can design the fonts, the colors the images you have full control over it so keep that in mind then we have the templates as well so let's go ahead and pick this template right here or this one it depends on you and if you scroll down you can see it loads up more templates and more designs as well so they have almost 12 plus templates that you can choose from so i like this blue template a lot so let's go ahead and take a look at this one let's go ahead and preview it and as you can see this is how it looks like so we're going to have these content in our email you can see you have the included headlines, the images, the text, uh, your name over here. And if you scroll down, you can see all the other information as well. And you even have some social points as well, where you can go ahead and click on them and they will take you to the social media pages that you have set up of your account. So let's go ahead and edit this template. This one looks nice. Let's go back and we can just simply apply the template by just simply clicking on the apply button right here. Now we can go ahead and edit it out. So as you can see, as I move up and down, I can highlight the section. And as the section gets highlighted, it indicates that I can go ahead and edit that section. So you can go ahead and edit it out. You can add your name over here. As you can see, it'll be your first name. You can add there. It's a placeholder. And over here, you can have the colors of it. Hi, first name. It's going to be the first name of the customer. And down below, you can add the text of what you want to send your email to the customer down below you can add the images of the product if you want to you can even add videos as well and then down below you have the links and all of the other good stuff as well as i said before now in order to set the social app over here as you can see you have links over here so all you need to do is just open up a social media platform go to your profile copy the link and then just paste it right here so as you can see facebook.com slash example of your name or your handle same with twitter and tiktok and instagram as well you can change the icon colors over here you have your paddings your gaps your icon styles everything is over here and once you've done with this all you have to do is just simply click on this done button right here and you can go ahead and finish it later and once you've done creating your campaign all you have to do is just simply go back and once you're back over here or you can just simply click on the done button and click on finish later then it'll, you'll arrive at the campaign where you will just simply have to run the campaign you can even call click on done and finish it later but if everything is good all you have to do is just simply click on run campaign and over here your campaign will send three emails over the three days to any subscriber that match your conditions so currently as you can see there are zero subscribers that you need to meet these conditions so we'll just leave it at that to do that we can add our personnel over here and tags and affiliates and if you already have a list of people that you want to import you can just simply import that list and you should be good to go Okay, so now that you know how to design your emails, edit your emails from the email template and email forms, now let's go ahead and take a look at the other side of the emails, the analytical side. So for that, what we'll do is we'll come over here onto email. So for that, what we'll do is we'll come over here onto email and we'll click on broadcasts. And over here, you can see the analytics over here. You can see how many emails you've sent, how many emails have been opened, how many clicks you've gotten, how many sales you've made, how much revenue you've generated, how many bounces you've had, and how many people have unsubscribed. So you can see all of your analytics over here. You can just simply click over here and you can see over here the numbers. But of course, there's none for me because, you know, I just created this account. And then over here is going to be your new broadcast. So over here are going to be your campaigns. You can see we already created one and then over here are going to be a broadcast now you can create a new broadcast by clicking on the plus icon and over here you can of course keep the name subject preview text from recipients and then you can choose a starting point point. and again you can go ahead and design this uh, template as well so it can be anything it can be you know dividers you've got fonts you've got 
uh, colors, buttons, and you can even choose the pre-made templates, the previous templates that you have, or you can choose one of the pre-made templates over here and you should be good to go. So it depends on you, but let's just assume that we did this one, the one that we already created. So we can just simply go ahead and click on apply and we should be done. You can just simply click on finish later and then we can just simply click on new email to start a new campaign or new broadcast if you click on these three buttons we can embed email forms and over here you can see the other frequently asked questions and of course if you didn't know you can also create newsletters with podia as well as so, though so the exact same method all right you just simply come over here onto your campaigns and in the email section you create a new newsletter with that you can add that newsletter sign up directly to your website and you can send unlimited signups to your whole audience or just specific uh, subjects using filters and over here you can next automate that section as well so if you didn't know you can automate your newsletter so over here you can automate your newsletter you know your welcome emails your products onboarding tagging you can send emails to people who are interested in specific products and make less buy works so you can automate that as well so to do that all you have to do as i said before once you create the campaign once you start running it you can input those commands as well so once you have it right here right these are the conditions that i was telling you about you can automate your emails by adding these conditions so if you click over here let's say uh, joins the community right so anyone who simply joins this community they will receive this email and exit conditions can be you know anything you want it can be anything uh tagged with or sign up with product it can be anything you can add those conditions and it can automate your process and you don't have to keep on sending these uh emails and if you didn't know as you can see tagged with if you click on tagged with you can add new tags from here as well so you can tag specific people or specific purchases through filters and you can make sure that you know these conditions are met so keep that in mind and just so you know i have used many other websites as well i use a lot of other websites like systemes and mailchimp as well so in my personal opinion uh, podia is a really really great software it allows you to create websites digital products it allows you to create a audience or community and it also gives you this key this feature which is called emails which allow you to tap into that audience which allow you to communicate with your audience so that you can understand them better so in my opinion podia is an amazing software that i highly highly recommend and it's not even that expensive like for example if you come over here onto the pricing section it's nine dollars per month and if you go with the annual it's four dollars per month which is very cheap four dollars is almost nothing and you get tons and tons of features so community downloads coachings courses as well but if you want to take it to the next level you can of course go with a 33 dollar but it depends on you that is a much higher level of pricing so that is for specific people who have reached the very top so uh, if you're just starting out, I would recommend going with the starter plan, which is $4 per month. And it's really, really cheap and it gives you tons of value per buck. So long story short, do I recommend Podia? Yes. Is it worth it? Yes. Should you try it? Yes, definitely. So let me know in the comment section what I missed and if, do you have any other questions or not? Let me know in the comment section. I will get back to you as soon as possible. And if you guys enjoyed this video and found it educational, be sure to hit the like button, subscribe to our channel, and turn on the post notifications to stay up to date with our other latest videos on softwares like these. So thank you guys for watching. And until next time, take care and goodbye.